Entertainment for One, E for One podcast. Make sure you like this video, but subscribe to the channel. I'm AP, Anthony, and we all can pretty much guess about who was at the freak-offs, the participants of the Diddy freak-offs. I'm willing to bet a couple of these names that I'm about to throw out there were there. Ja Rule, Meek Mill, of course, Kevin Lyles, that's why he stepped down as CEO this week. Neo, Stevie J, among many, many others that we can play the guessing game at another time. But this vid right here, this video is about did Sean Combs do the unthinkable of the unthinkable? Did he allow his sons, Justin, King Combs, who is Christian Combs, and his adopted son, Albie Shore's son, Quincy, did Sean Combs allow them to participate in these freak offs? And my answer is absolutely yes. I, I believe he did. Because his son, Christian Combs, who we all know as King Combs, is, fo is, is following in his father's footsteps for all the wrong reasons. All the wrong reasons. Make sure you comment. I want to read all of the comments. If you didn't know, Christian Combs, King Combs, has a sexual assault allegation against him that stems from roughly around 2022. And, and you wondering why I'm not calling him P. Diddy. Number one, I've never had enough respect for him to call him P. Diddy for a lot of different reasons. Number one, mainly because I always thought and I, and I know he had something to do with the, the murder of Tupac Shakur. I know that. I know he did. In my heart, I know he did. Facts, information is out there. And number two, I'm not calling a 54-year-old man by a slang moniker like he's in his 20s, early 30s. I'm not, I'm not calling Sean Combs Pete Diddy. You're Sean Combs. You're damn near 60 years old, man. Grow up. So I do believe that his sons participated in these freak-offs. Uh, you know, it's, it's all right. It's, it's all right there. It's all right. The, the, all the signs are there. His sons are following in his footsteps. And of course, they grew up in a household or some form of a household to see what Sean Combs is doing behind the scenes. So, of course, Sean let his sons participate in these freak offs, which not only questions his parenting, but it also just brings up a whole nother level of just that's just disgusting, man. It's one thing to do things as an adult. But to invite your children into that sexual, nasty lifestyle of, of I mean, the, 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 everything is coming out. The rumors are becoming true. We have Sean Combs supplier saying that he walked in the room to sell Sean Combs some coke. And he saw or he, he got walked into a, a corridor that led to a back room of nothing but gay rappers men having sex with each other it's very very crazy i don't even want to talk i don't even want to think about it but the bigger question besides did sean combs let his sons participate in these freak offs which i know he did allegedly i i, I think i know he did 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 sean combs allow his moms his mother janice combs as well be a participant in these freak offs now we all know his mother janice combs is very very rough around the edges she's not a highly respectable woman because she is there's stories out out there about her too a lot of them plenty of them janice combs is the kind of mother she's 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 from she's of the street now that doesn't mean that she's for the streets but she's of the streets. She's the loving hip hop mother that's 70 something years old, man, or 68 or however old she is. But I do believe, number one, we all know Janice Combs knows all about what Sean Combs is doing. She knew, I truly believe she, of course, she knew about these freak offs. But did she just get that horny to where she was like, you know what? I'm gonna participate in these freak offs because we all saw her at the parties at the clubs, always with her son. It's just a nasty ass family, man. This whole family needs to be cleansed. And Puff, his day is coming. His day is coming. Pause on that. Big pause on that. Thank you for watching the Evil One Podcast. Real heavy on the Sean Combs talk, so make sure you like this video and subscribe.